All right, guys, make sure you've got your head on straight, you know your role, and practice your timing on your relays, and everything will be golden. Let's hit the board. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to talk about the relay mindset. And some of you guys really need to pay attention because this is going to be kind of reversed as to what you're, what you're usually thinking when you're talking about a relay transition, when you're talking about going into a relay. A lot of times the focus is on the wrong person. We're going to flip that around real quick. All right, so we've got side of the pool, starting block, and we've got dude standing here. Relay transition, okay? Water. And we've got a swimmer that is coming into the wall right here. I know I'm a good artist, I know. All right, so dude is coming into the wall right here. Now, most of the time people are like, you know, they, they worry about the transition and they worry about if there's gonna be a false start. And a lot of times the focus is actually on the wrong person. They focus on this guy as far as a false start. Why do they do that? People focus on and swimmers focus on the guy that's out of the water because, guy or girl, because this is the person that you can see. This is the action that you can see. So it's easy to see this as far as the transition. So people will focus on that and they'll, they'll think that if there is a mistake, that it's, it's this person that, that they can see that's easy to see. All right. Usually, actually most of the time, if there's some kind of false start, which means this person leaves the block before this person has touched the wall, usually it's actually the person in the water's fault. So make sure if you're in the water, you have a huge responsibility to make sure that you do a couple things properly as you're coming into the wall. This is actually easy to do. When you're watching someone come in, it's easy to time it and actually be able to dive off. This guy has the responsibility of making sure that his speed coming into the wall is consistent. If it's not consistent, then this guy will not be able to time the speed as it's coming in. All right, so it's very, very important that he keeps a consistent speed. The reason that this is sometimes a problem is because this guy, a lot of times when he's coming into the wall, likes to think in this area, when he gets a little bit closer, that his job is done, that the race is over. So he kind of slows down his pace at the very end, leaving this guy hanging out to dry because he can't time it properly. Another thing is with this guy right here, a lot of times the, the high school and summer league swimmer, they have a problem with this. As they're coming into the wall, this last stroke, we're gonna talk about the last stroke right now. As he's coming into the wall, the last stroke, a lot of times from these swimmers, they like to, th they like to give a big dramatic emphasis like they're done at the end. So they throw this big looping over the top stroke instead of staying low and close to the surface of the water and finishing strong, giving this guy the proper timing, they throw this big looping over the top stroke, which is actually very slow. It's a very slow arm stroke because it comes way over the top and it is slow. <clears throat> which throws this guy's timing it throws it off. So he actually has a false start sometimes because of this last arm stroke that dude right here throws over the top in a big dramatic, I've finished my race, ha ha, I'm done fashion. Well, this guy thinks that he's going to stay low and strong into the wall. So he's gone already, which causes a false start. <clears throat> and a lot of times people see this and they're like, oh, he left early. But it was really this guy's fault for not having a low, strong finish into the wall. So the biggest responsibility, <clears throat> if you're in a relay, the biggest responsibility actually lies on this guy right here to make sure that he is consistent and finishes strong into the wall so that he can time it right to get off the block in the right way. So keep that in mind while you're, while you're doing relays. This guy right here, biggest responsibility 
This guy right here has a much, much easier job while he's on the block because it's easy to time, consistent. If he's not consistent, he's going to have an off timing, which throws him into the water early. And especially that last stroke, make sure it is not a big, massive looper over the top. I'm writing no looper. I don't even know if that's a word, but it's right there. No looper over the top with some big dramatic finish to your stroke. Stay low, stay strong, and finish consistent, and your relays will have a much smoother transition, and you'll really see yourself not have very many false starts. So there you go. You want to have a relay mindset? There you go. This guy, easy job. This guy, a lot of responsibility. So keep that in mind when you're in the water. All right, guys, don't forget, if you're the swimmer in the water, you have got the most responsibility. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.